There is energy in these hills. In many places in Nicaragua, a source of energy is literally seeping out of the ground. This country sits atop one of the world's most geologically active regions. Nicaragua has only just begun to unlock its enormous potential for geothermal energy generation. It is located on the Ring of Fire and has dozens of volcanoes like this one. And where there is a volcano, there is an endless source of energy. But this is the reality of life for many Nicaraguans in the capital, Managua. Rolling blackouts that last up to eight hours. The country still generates most of its electricity from oil, imported at prices that rise every day. The situation is so bad. Crime has risen. Poverty, too. We thought this government would improve our situation, but it is as bad as ever. Economists say until prices began to soar, there had been no incentives to develop other sources of energy. These uh, opportunities have to require a lot of money, a lot of investment, on the one hand. And on the other hand, they take time to be developed. But with Nicaragua so rich in energy potential, some are trying to change the situation. A Canadian company, Polaris, is now using heat found underground near volcanoes and hot springs to produce electricity. Geothermal energy supporters claim that unlike fossil fuels, it is a clean source of energy, virtually harmless to the environment. And this plant sits conveniently along the SEPAC power grid. Now under construction, the grid will eventually run through all of Central America, enabling Nicaragua to also become a potential major energy supplier in the region. So it's actually possible to wield power from, Central, from Nicaragua here in Central America and deliver it to anywhere within uh, Central and North America. While this plan steams away, Nicaragua could serve as a model to other developing countries. The answer to its energy problems is right under its feet. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Nicaragua.